Okay, so if you watched the video that I posted yesterday, but I still filmed it today because I want the fish to be fresh, but I'm posting the video a day late. Uh, you'll know I caught a whole lot of these fish called the spotted tail pinfish, and we only kept two of them. We kept one that was the biggest one. We didn't keep nearly as many as we caught, and one of them that we caught wasn't even half of the biggest one. I have their fillets in the bag right now. It's kind of nasty, but anyways, I'm going to go cook them, and they're trash fish. They're the spotted tail pinfish, and no one really eats them. I mean, you can't get a lot of meat off them, so you need a really big one just to get like a chicken nugget size of meat off of them. But what I'm going to try to do is put it in flour a couple times to take off most of the oil because uh, a lot of trash fish just have a lot of oil in them. And then I'm going to fry them up and see how they taste. Okay, so I have the fish right here. Not much meat off them. That's because they weren't big. I mean, one of them was actually pretty big, but they're not known for eating. That's why there's not a lot of meat. I had caught them today, but the meat turned dark because I didn't have a cooler, so I just kept them in a bag with some ice. Right here, I have the secret ingredient. This is pancake mix. It does the same thing as the flour does. It sticks to that, takes off the oil, but it tastes better and it actually has flavor. Flour just doesn't have flavor. That's the trick when you're frying fish. Right here I have an egg mixed with some lime juice, pepper, and salt. For the breading I'm using seasoned panko. And then here is another secret ingredient. This is the redfish magic seasoning and even though I'm not eating redfish, it just tastes good on pretty much any fish. So pick yourself up some of that. Okay, so I'm going to go through the process with every single one of these until I lay them all down on that plate and then fry them up. Okay, so I went through the process with every piece of meat, now I'm just going to sprinkle it with some of this redfish magic. We put some on the plate before we laid them down, so there's some on the other side, but there's none on the top, so I'm just going to give it a small layer of this stuff. Just like that, and then when we fry it, it'll taste good, and when we're done, we'll add a pinch on every one. This is going to taste good, even though it's a trash fish, I think this is going to taste pretty nice. Okay, I have oil right here, it's been on for like 20 minutes because I just had it going a lot earlier, but I have it on low heat because I don't want to burn them, and I don't really care if it takes a minute or two to fry. Oh man, guys, I got a piece of the breading in my eye, and it does not feel good. They were only on for like 20 seconds, and they're already dark. Okay, so I looked inside of this piece, and it is ready. 100% to be taken off. <clears throat> okay, so I shut the burner off. I'm going to keep this here for a minute so that it can cool down and I don't put hot oil down the sink, which you shouldn't put any oil down the sink so it doesn't clog it, so I'll probably just put this in a pond or something. Okay, so let's go try this. Okay, I almost forgot. I gotta add a little bit of this on top, so I have some in my hand. I'm just gonna put a very small amount over every one. Okay, here's the final product, caught and cooked all in the same day. So, I mean, if a trash fish is gonna taste good, it's gonna taste good the same day you catch it. So, I'm gonna sit down and try some of this. Okay, so I gotta say the best looking piece must be this one right here. It's nice and evenly coated across the whole thing. Okay, so I'm not sure if this is actually gonna taste good, so I'm gonna make my dog try it first, and if he likes it, then I'll try it. Come here, Junior. Junior, come here, bud. Yeah, come up here, he's drooling. Does it taste good, buddy? Yeah, does it taste good? Yeah, it tastes good. Hey bud, here you want a little bit more? Speak! Oh yeah. You like it? Like it? Okay, get out of here. I got a crowd behind me. You guys can't see, but I got like three people watching me. Oh, it was so hot. It tastes good, but it's hot. You guys, I think I might have just started a new eating fish. This is actually really good. If you keep the oil on it and you don't do anything about it, then it might not taste good, but right now it tastes real nice. Oh, 
Oh god, I ate so much of this. Save it, save it for later. No, I already ate like most of it. I'm not gonna keep it. Yeah. Just happy. Good, you got one more. You're almost done. I mean, honestly, guys, it didn't taste too bad. I just wasn't hungry. That's why I didn't eat a lot of it. But I mean, the entire fish went to good use. Okay, so this is a picture of the fish that I actually cooked, and then this is a picture of the fish after I cooked it. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, go down below, leave a big thumbs up. If you want to watch my last video, you can click right there. If you want to subscribe to the channel, you can click right there. And as always, stay fishing.